What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net. You know me better as Droid Moder X. Today we're going to be taking a look at the CM9 ROM for the Droid 4. Uh, yes, I did say that. CM9 on the Droid 4. This is from Hashcode of. Uh, it's been in development for the last several weeks. Um, all the kinks have begun to be worked out here. Uh, most of this is functioning for the Droid 4. When I say functioning, I mean your 4G and 3G are functioning properly. I uh, believe that your camera is function functioning properly. We are going to check that out. Uh, right now I'm on Wi-Fi only because this is my secondary backup device. In fact, if we went in and checked out my battery life, you would be astounded. Uh, because basically this has, like I said, this has been my backup device. So see, I've been running it for 23 hours, 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, and I'm still at 58%. So that's a hey, good battery life, right? Well, actually, it's just my backup device. Um... But so far, I can tell this is very fast. It is ice cream sandwich, so that is a definite plus just right off the bat. Um, I will say, before you even uh, get started with this ROM, this is a safe strap only ROM. It could be flashed via a Droid 4 bootstrap, but I would not suggest it since there is no safety net for the Droid 4 yet. Still no fast boot files released. Still no way to recover from a brick uh, if you somehow potentially brick to your device. If you flash via safe strap, and I do have a video on how to flash via safe strap, so I will link to that in the description. I'll also give you guys a link to where you can find this ROM. Um, but if you flash via safe strap, you'll be able to get back to stock very easily at because safe strap just allows you to dual boot. So I'm actually dual booted into CM9 and I still have my stock ROM as my main ROM. Uh, but either way, this functions properly. So let's go ahead and jump into settings. There's plenty of settings to choose from. Uh, so we'll go into our settings, and then we'll come down to, uh, where are we at here? Okay, we'll go to the interface. You have your launcher here. This is the trebuchet launcher. If you go into home screen, you can change things like your transition effect. Uh, when you scroll, that'll give you like a cube effect. Um, you can choose the amount of home screens that you want and also select a default screen. You can also remove that persistent search bar that comes with Ice Cream Sandwich, which is a neat feature. Uh, you can change the things in your app drawer as well. And there's several other things that you can change there. We'll go back into settings and we'll look at our themes. Uh, for now, this is not working, but you guys, if, if any of you were on CyanogenMod 7, you know that it has that theming application. Uh, that will come eventually if we go into System. Uh, we have several settings that can be changed here. This is not as customizable as the AOKP that I showed you guys last week, but there's still tons of customization to be had in this ROM. If you go to Notification Drawer, uh, you can change your drop-down notifications to include some toggles here. I believe these are scrollable. Uh, so you can have your toggles there. You can change some other things, um, like your widgets that are there. You can uh, take away your power widgets. So if I drop down, they've disappeared, or you can bring them back. And let's see, if we go back, we have status bar. So you can show the clock or remove the clock. You can change the style of the clock. Uh, you can change your battery status. So like for percentage, you just change that there. The signal style, you can change that as well. Um, Let's see, wallpaper, uh, you can you can choose from several wallpapers here. Uh, there's just the regular ice cream sandwich wallpapers. And then, of course, you have like your live wallpapers, and you can choose from your gallery as well. Uh, you can also change your font size here, like so. And like I said, not a ton, ton of customizations here, uh, but enough to play around with. Uh, the most most of what you're going to get out of this is ice cream sandwich. You're going to get some performance enhancements as well as just having ice cream sandwich on your phone. And another thing, let's go ahead and check out the camera and see if it's working on this build. Let's see, we'll just take a picture there of the Droid Forums logo. And that seems to have worked. Let's check out the gallery and see if it took the picture and it did. So uh, the camera seems to be working. I don't know about the front facing camera. I think it seems like some people said that that was not working. There I am. And let's. Okay, so we got me awkwardly talking, and there I am. Uh, look awful. I should wash my forehead. Oh my gosh. So oily. Uh, so the camera's working. 
And like I said, 3G, 4G, those are all working as well. Um, so this is pretty much working. Uh, some people have reported that Wi-Fi is not working on this, but that's all that I can use without my SIM card in here because I currently have my SIM card in my Galaxy Nexus. Um, I did place it in here to verify that 3G and 4G are working. Wi-Fi is working great for me. As you can see, I've got some notifications where I've received some mail and updates are available. So all that's working. So another thing here is if we hold down the power button, you do get a full uh, power options, including reboot, uh, which you can reboot into recovery. That way you have your screenshot option there as well and some toggles. And let's see if we hold and select wallpaper. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we had some signage in mod wallpapers, but we don't. Um, and then, of course, it does come with a signage in mod 9 boot animation, so you want to check that out as well. Uh, that, Like I said, that is signage in mod 9 for the Droid 4, and uh, you can find this at the link in the description or either head to droidforums.net where you'll find everything uh, that's related to the Droid 4. And guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the forums.